So basically, your Sim4 game failed to load. You should really try this fix. Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is so nice to see you. Today we're gonna talk about this very error which says game failed to load, which is happening in The Sims 4 if you didn't know already. But before I give you the helpful solution to that, just a quick reminder, if you like this type of content and if you find it useful, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good chats, hit on the notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video because it truly, truly helps me a lot. Thank you so much and back to our video. So you might be wondering, why is this happening? Why is this error game failed to load happening? Well, that is due to either broken mods or CC that you have in your mods folder or to broken files within your electronic arts folder. And we basically have two fixes. The first one is what I would like to call an easy fix. And the second one is a not so easy fix because it involves following some more steps but it's okay if you want to you know just fix any kind of issue in a sense for that the is the way to go but before you follow any of those methods please make sure to back up your entire electronic arts folder i've said that a million times and i'm reinforcing it and i'm reiterating it because people don't back up their e folders which is a risky thing to do because you don't want to deal with missing sims missing files from your ea folder so basically backing up your folder is the way to go all you need to do is to copy and paste your whole entire ea folder make sure you're actually copying the right ea folder the one included in your documents folder not the one included in your onedrive because that one does not contain all of your saves and might not be up to date so basically just go into your documents right click on your ea folder copy and then paste it wherever you would please you can paste it on your other drive which may be called local disk d or you can even copy it on a flash drive or on an external drive so that is the safest way to go i feel like you can even copy it to all of these three locations just to make sure if you're you know just uh, paranoid as i am you can definitely go ahead and do that and so basically the easy fix involves taking out or removing all of your script mods from your mods folder so again just head over to your documents, electronic cards, The Sims 4, and then mods. Click multiple times on this type column until your TS4 script files show up right at the top. And once they do, just make sure to select all of your script mods and then delete them. You should also consider removing the remnants of your script mods. And what do I mean by remnants? Basically, some mods, certain mods, will also include some package files. And obviously, those did not show at the top so you actually need to manually search them in the search field just type in the names of your mods that you have deleted and make sure that there are no remnants of your deleted script mods because for instance more columns is a package file mcc also includes a package file please make sure to type in the names of your mods in the search bar and make sure to remove any package files that may be tied to those specific mods that you've just deleted and once you're done you should also go right back into your ts4 folder the sims 4 and remove the following files local thumb cache.package this will basically clear your game's cache just like you do with your browser options.any this will basically reset your options and you'll need to redo them once you get into the game but not for now because we're just dealing with some more issues right now and then also game version.txt so you need to remove these three files from your the sims 4 folder and do not worry if after opening your sims 4 game those files keep on appearing because you should delete them only once now you just need to head over to your origin app go to your game library right click on your sims 4 game and then you should see this option which is called repair basically repair your game wait until this repairing process is complete by the way if you didn't know you should do this process with your the sims 4 game closed and then once it's done launch your game and see if it works for you 
If you're having issues with a particular household, you can basically load that household, just play it, and then click on these three dots and instead of save, click on save as, just to create a new save slot for your family and next time you want to play with it, you just need to select the new save that you've created and uh, you shouldn't encounter any problems from now on considering that you have removed all of your problematic script mods in CC. Either manually or by using this 50-50 method that I mentioned in this very video or by using the BE mod which I've also mentioned in this very video. Moving on to the not so easy fix. What that means? It means that you need to actually reset your entire game. Do not worry, I know that might seem scary because you are afraid of losing your files. Do not worry my friend, this will fix any kind of issue you would have. Just make sure that you back up once again your entire electronic arts folder somewhere else on your computer or even on a flash drive on an external drive just to make sure that your files are safe and sound. Once you've created that backup, to actually reset your game, you have to open up your documents folder and then right click on your electronic arts folder, select rename and rename it in electronic arts old so that you know that is your problematic folder. Open your game, do not worry if those buttons are missing like the load game button as well as new game button are missing because you actually have to copy your files in order for those buttons to show up. And now you just need to completely close it and then you should see a brand new electronic arts folder in your documents folder. As I said before, this is obviously an empty folder because we have reset our game and our electronic arts folder. So to actually get your families and saves back into your game, you will have to enter this electronic cards old the sims 4 and then copy the files that you have included in your tray folder just you know just open up your tray folder Control a right click on your files copy and then head over to your new electronic cards the sims 4 and then tray folder right click on it and paste it and now you have all of your tray files pasted in your new folder you should do the very same thing with your saves as well as with your screenshots files so just head back to your old EA folder, The Sims 4, saves, control A to select all of your files, right click on them, copy and then go right back into your documents, electronic cards, the new one, The Sims 4, saves, right click on it, paste it, boom you're done. As I said before the same thing needs to be done for your screenshots. Make sure not to copy any of your script mods that you may have in your old mods folder because those are most certainly problematic, outdated, broken, all that jazz, you all know the drill. But in terms of CC you can copy them though because most of them will be fine if you're really keen on that. Also do not worry about your sims being naked after opening your game that is because you have copied your CC from your old file to your new file and you actually need to redress them individually once again. And if these two methods, the easy one or the not so easy method, did not work for you, you can additionally try to once again back up your whole entire EA folder, the one that contains all of your saves, all of your tray, all of your important files essentially, uninstall your Sims 4 game, uninstall your origin program and then reinstall both of them and do not worry you won't lose your game because once you have redeemed that game code with an origin that game will remain there no matter what even though you uninstall your origin or your the sims 4 game it's obviously there in your library no matter what and you won't lose your files because you've already backed them up if that makes any sense and then once you uninstall and reinstall both of them you can follow the same steps that I've mentioned in the not so easy method meaning that you can reset your EA folder once again and then copy your quintessential files to your newly generated EA folder namely your saves your screenshots as well as your tray files from your old EA folder to this newly generated one. If you find this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good jazz. Hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video because it truly, truly helps me a lot. Thank you so much. And don't hesitate to let me know in the comments down below if you're still, you know, dealing with this issue. Thank you so much once again and I'll see you next time with a brand new exciting and helpful video. Hope you have a great day. Cheers like you. Bye guys.